Hi, I'm Michael Ralph. Today we're going to be doing the plant water management lab. You need everything you see right here, including some plants, some tubes, and of course a balance. First thing you need to do is cut out a plant from their larger cells. To get that done, you're going to need a knife or a probe or something to get in around that plant and get way down deep and break up the root system around the edges. Once you've got it broken loose, be sure and get down way, way deep so that you're grabbing out all the roots along with the plant. So that when it comes out, you get the entire thing, okay, all of it together. Okay, make sure, put down some paper towels so when you get it out, you can clean off all the roots, get all the extra dirt put off to one side. You can save it because it's great dirt. And get all that dirt cleaned off and you're going to put it into one of these clear tubes. So eventually it's going to look like that. Make sure and fill in the bottom with some of that extra dirt so you have the entire tube full but not packed with dirt with your plant sitting on top. Once you've got that done, we need to water the plant just a little bit to make sure the dirt is all nice and wet. Okay, we don't want any standing water, no standing water at the bottom of the tube, just some moist dirt. And then depending on what your tubes look like, you may want to cover the top to prevent any evaporation. That way the only water coming out is water coming through the plant itself. Tin foil is a great option for sealing the top. As you can see here, there's not a lot of dirt surface area, so we're not going to worry about tin foil with these particular tubes. Once you have it sealed and set up, it's time to mass it. So take your balance. Don't forget to zero it, and then once it's at zero, mass it to find what your total initial mass is. Use a Sharpie to get your mass written directly on the tube along with the label for what condition you're running. Label and initial mass, and now you're ready to let it sit. After a couple of days, come back, we're going to mass it again and find our percent change in mass. And that, mass, that change in mass should be only the water lost over about that 48 hour period. This is the basic setup. You want to run a control plant and also you can test any number of conditions to compare to your control and see the effect of different conditions on a plant's water loss over time. Good luck.